The following is a fan-based parody. Pizza Tower is owned by Toilet Pizza. Please support the official release. And when he looked in the closet, all that could be found was a burgundy sweater! Seriously? Burgundy? Well, if you knew anything about fashion, Mr. Cowboy Boots to work, you realize that it's a fashion crime of the highest order. What the are you guys talking about? The scariest story gets to go home early. You just missed the disappointment of a lifetime. Ten minutes of that voice for a swear. What's wrong with my voice? You got a better one, cowboy? Oh, I got your campfire story right here, Paisano. Well, I don't know when, and I don't know where, but there was a meteor crash landed in the middle of a cornfield, messing up all the crops. Real messy thing, I tell you. But this meteor was a glowing, pies of colors that never seen by man. Ah, oh, try me. What? Try me. I know every color. And there ain't no way you know every color. As a master of the arts. Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna stop you right there. Fine. I'll guess until I find it. You know what? Knock yourself out, Picasso. Now, as I was saying, then the meteor disappeared. Things started growing funny. The crops were huge and glossy. The trees were glowing at night, and the water in the well, well, they would glow of all these unknowable colors. Chartreuse! Shut up! So it was a glowing, and people started fair in the farm. All that glossy crop was inedible. Scrap. And then, the farmer's wife started screaming about the colors. Poor dope. Started screaming crazy things. Then, she vanished. And the farmer's kids went missing too. One never left the house, and the other one, well, the other one was found at the bottom of the well. Just bones and horrible mounds of- Verdigris! And all that whistle, Paprika, if you yap one more dumb color- Then perhaps London or- The land was leech gray and the colors started leaving the well. Ecru. Leaving the well and going back to space. Bert Cyan. But one pod stayed in the well. So Would you be quiet already? Confounded, Vidget. I demand you tell me what this color is! Burgundy! Preparing with Pepino will be back after these messages. Hey you! Yeah you, sitting staring at your computer screen, utterly merchless. Why you look like you haven't been advertised to for at least seven seconds. Well, no more! Get out your wallets now for the newest toy sensation, the Pocket Pepino! <laughs> Okay, uh, that's right, the Pocket Pepino for all your Pepino needs on the go! This thing is spectacular. It's marvelous. Some might even say it's mediocre. But that's not all. Following are just some of the many uses for your Pocket Pepino. Feed him pasta! He really is! He can kiss you goodnight! He can kiss you goodnight. He's got motion sensor eyes to survey your every move. What? He can butter your toast. Mm. Eat him pasta. He really eats. Dress him up. So pretty. Dress him down. F you. He plays Wonder Wall at party. Gross. He can experience dread. Oh no. Use him as a baby monitor. Consume product. And yes, you can even feed him pasta. He really you, I hate this. But if that's not enough for you, why not listen to these testimonials by real customers? Look at my son! Why the hell would I purchase this? He really is. So call and click today to get your own pocket pepino. I'm a lovely pocket. What? I, I didn't record that. Who put that in? Hey. I'm a hungry. 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 I'm a hungry.
Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and wary. No, 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 no. you can't do that. You, you can't, can't do, do that. The Simpsons is the oh, way yeah. down. Beetlejuice, these jokes are terrible. You know, I heard a pretty good one a few days ago, but the one on the script is telling you things you the shrink. And it goes a little something like this. <clears throat> Doctor, doctor, I've got everything I could ever possibly want in life. I'm rich, I'm successful, I'm devilishly handsome, and my pizza's the bestest in the whole wide world. Except for the products over your local pizza boy pizza. But I'm still not happy. Now you wake up every day in my normal bed and go to my water closet to look at my moderately average face. And now you say a good morning nondescript Italian pizza ship, but it doesn't respond. What does it do? It just... Yeesh, that doesn't sound right. What do you do next? Ah, you stay in the back of course. It's just me, just a good old me. You sound like you're depressed. Oh, of course. I'm a depressed, non-disgraced Italian pizza chef. I burn myself on the crust and I cry on the ship. Take three of these, pay me $30,000. If they don't work, come back and pay me another 20000 <laughs> Stop! Down, boy! And in that cabin... There was a murderer. Eesh! Guess I got another one. Who? Oh, he? You know Gustavo? No, no, I don't know. You gotta know? What the f is he doing? You really don't know? Well, in the tower, things got uh, really spooky. You know Brick, eh? Well, he bit him. A lot. A lot, a lot. But you know, it didn't bother Gustavo too much till they got to the fifth floor. Things started changing. He started getting feverish. Palms sweaty, face flushed. It was a miracle he was staying up half the time, but we had to keep going. Not like we had a choice. It all came to a head in pizza scare. He could barely walk, so he stayed at the entrance. Didn't even follow me in, only Mr. Stick came. Which is why it was so strange that when I knocked down that pillar, there were two figures guiding me to safety. But I know what I saw. That thing's hands were swollen, as if filled with fluid, uncomfortably warm and smooth as a ball. Its head was bloated too, almost too big for its shoulders. The only way I knew it was even alive was the silent twitching of its leathery nose. And the eyes. Got you, Cristo, the eyes. There was no light left behind them. No sapience. Barely sentience. And yet, as if in some kind of defiance, a profane intelligence remained. It was something we could never begin to comprehend. It never quite looked at me. Instead, it was always staring out into some unseen oblivion, never once blinking. We left that castle. We went on. We knocked down the tower. But something changed in Gustavo. Not something big, and not all at once. Little things. I see him take little bits of cheese out of his pocket put it into his mouth. Of course, he didn't stop at cheese, did it? <laughs> I mean, you heard what just happened. You've seen the disappearances around the office. That's not layoffs. That's Gustavo. Who wants cheese? <laughs>